And the city of Loris is writing a major check to finally get its hands on a longtime eyesore. Yeah, Michaela Evans is joining us live outside of the city's old high school. But what's next for the property? Good morning, Michaela. Good morning, Lauren and Darion. The old Loris High School has seen thousands of students over the years, but for the last decade, it's only seen vandalism and weeds. Now the city finally has its hands on the property and hopes to turn it around. It should have never been allowed to get in the condition it's in. As Betty Carter sits on her porch each morning, she looks across the street at the school she once attended but no longer recognizes. It's, it's ridiculous what has happened. The top of the school caving in on the other end is it's just it's just dangerous. Carter graduated as valedictorian from the old Loris High School in 1960, but the building sat empty and abandoned since 2014. Flash forward to now, the city settled a lawsuit this month with the property's owner, handing over $1.5 million to finally take control of the 17 acres. It, it's really dangerous, so now we can police it. We can close it up and keep um, children and, and other people that might go in there safe. Mayor Todd Harrelson called me right away with the good news and says the possibilities are endless. I'd love to see uh, a, a nice building here. I'd love to see possibly a... Uh, all-inclusive park or walking trails. And Carter, who looks and sees what's left of her once beloved high school, tells me it's bittersweet, but she can't wait to see what's to come. Well, I'm real excited. It's sentimental, but progress has to go on regardless. Mayor Harrelson says they hope to close on the deal in October, then it's straight to the drawing board. One idea they're already considering is adding a retention pond to help with flooding. Live in Loris, Michaela Evans, WMBF News.